Today's video brought to you by Nobody. All right, my little homemade uh, solar generator. You see, I'm just messing around with a few 200 watt panels out in front of the house, playing around in my garage. Uh, I just got this little T-Stack toolbox. I bought this little MPPT solar charger. I bought a, a 2200 watt pure sine wave inverter. Little 12 volt lights for like your pickup truck. A plug in electric charge controller. I got a fuse coming in off my solar. And I'm just running this one with some old beater. Um, what are they? They're marine type batteries. Now, ideally, you'd want to use the LiPo batteries, lithium iron phosphate. Um, the price of those batteries is coming down, and then the lifespan on those batteries is insane. This charger will do um, LiPo as well. But that's just it for my little portable, uh, you know, in case power goes out, rolling blackouts in California. Take it out to a job site. You could hook up a couple panels and run your power tools. Um, let's see if we get the light going here. Bam, bam, little time delay, kink. I got it so the light can spin and rotate. Um, this light came in a two pack, so what I'm gonna do is get a big, big, long piece of uh, flexible wire like this that I could connect up here, that I could take out for like a job light. It's up there in a box right now, the other light. And then I could roll it out and you could walk it around with you for like a service light. And then this would be the stationary light with the little generator pack. I got a 100 amp hour battery in here and a 70 amp hour battery. But they're the, um, they're the AMG batteries, just marine grade. So they don't, you don't get as, uh, as much life as you would out of a LiPo battery. Lithium, what is it? Lithium iron phosphate. But the price of those batteries is coming down. So in the future, I could I could run these batteries till they die, go recycle them, and then replace them with the lithium iron phosphate. Because this charge controller will do the lithium batteries also. And then you can just panel out. This This will take a, a maximum of 600 watts uh, at 12 volts in, or 1,200 watts of solar at 24 volts. Um, and what you normally get out of a, out of a solar panel if it's a two if it's rated at a 200 watt panel you might get 100 watts out of it so if you got eight 200 watt panels you're thinking oh i got 800 watts of solar eh you might get 450 500 watts on a good day um so you can over panel to compensate what you're using on your load like i'll i'll use this to run the furnace if the power goes out um the refrigerator, all kinds of stuff. And it's just a little homemade, nothing to it really, it's just plastic. I drilled some holes, put the batteries inside. I put all this stuff on top just to make it serviceable. It's got a handle up and some wheels on it so you could drive it around. And then I just got a bunch of solar cables and Y brancher connectors just to connect it up. And I'm just tinkering with it right now, just playing. It's working like a champ. Batteries at full, like if I cycle. No error codes. Oh yeah, it's got a thermometer that goes down into the batteries. Like batteries 100%. And this charger also has an app that goes onto the phone. I can see how many watts of solar I'm bringing in, all kinds of fun stuff. But you could build your own little solar generators for cheap. I would build it if you could get the lithium, the LiPo 4 batteries. And I think there's a bunch of Chinese ones out now that are cheap. By cheap, I mean you could get a 200 amp hour battery for like 700 bucks. I know that's a lot of money. But those batteries will last about 10 years. You get a good MPP charge controller. An inverter sometimes you could buy all in one unit and just plink sit it on top oh and then i have an electric uh plug in the wall electric charger here that i keep it charged up on standby and i just keep that plugged into the wall till the power goes out and then you can deploy your solar if, if the poop hits the fan 
or if you're without power for a few days so then i got this little this little blue eddy generator i'm running my christmas lights off of let's see how that one's doing yeah that dude's that dude's pulling in some solar right now charging up and i got my timer and i run my christmas lights off there so i'm running my christmas lights for free just off a little yeah it's almost charged up to the top I think I got a 100 watt panel and a 50 watt panel. And you'll see the charge controller will reduce the load down as, as it's topping off. It'll go to slow charge. And I'm charging up this little 12 volt brake light for my helmet. And then these are a couple panels I got, 200 watt panels. I got them wired them in series right now going to the MPPT. And I'll move them around the corner into the sunlight here until that battery's all maxed out and get some free, free top off. You can have fun building your own, and there's so many devices now that are better. This is just mishmashed together. Pretty sure you can get this and this all in one piece now, and a really good battery where you, you could just hook up like a couple wires and make it super clean and super nice. And it would be rad to put it into one of the Milwaukee stackers because it's better quality plastic than this one. Um, and you guys could trick them out, and we should, uh, should have a YouTube competition who makes the best homemade solar generator for their work truck. It'd be kind of fun. But yeah, have fun with it out there. Get creative, make a nice one for yourself. A lot cheaper than buying an all in one. Although the little all in one things are cool. Um, this one here is super tiny. It's not going to do much. It's only about an uh, 800 watt inverter great for charging up batteries and stuff i'm not sure if it would run the chop saw at work they make bigger versions of these where it's all in one if you don't want to mess around with a home built build your own home build Ooh, i think i'm charged up this little guy charged up perfect thank you son free charge up we'll take it but yeah, have fun with it. Build some build some homemade ones. It's pretty cool. But I thought I'd show you guys what I did for mine. And uh, a little backup power. I'll, and I ain't screwing around either. I have a gas. I have the Yamaha gasoline one there too. 1600 watt Yamaha. Because, you know, gasoline works really good. So I got some options. All right. Like the video. Hit the subscribe button down here and join the party. So I just came out on this one. Nice rainy day. And uh, <clears throat> the condensate drain on the box was plugged. So I got that all cleaned out. And then I'm like, hey, man, do you got the disconnect? And the homeless <laughs> took, the, <laughs> took the disconnect out. Those bastards. It got troll bullied. I should leave some of my troll bola breakfast cereal out here it's a breakfast cereal i invented called troll bola it has a crack pipe in every box and it has ebola in it i call it troll bola crack pipe in every box all right all right all right youtubes a little rainy afternoon i got a, a call from a customer said his freezer is smoking and he sent me a little video on the text message and there's like smoke coming out of like I couldn't tell if it was coming out where the Dixel control is or not but it probably is but let's get up there and take a look at it I think it's on a I think it's a dis, uh, dipping cabinet freezer but let's get up there and take a look and see what we get into on this rainy afternoon let's rock and roll this You guys want to see the shark and the whale mural? There you go. That's always nice. All right, charbroiled. Charbroiled. And that's why. Oh, the condenser gets dirty, over amps, and then cooks the wires. Here, I'll clean that up, man.